let's first start by talking about the phone's design. You get a glass front which is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. You get metal back which has got antenna bands which the iPhone 7 now does not have and these circles are pretty uh, uniformly placed. These are the two cameras. This is what gives this phone its name, Dual 5. Also, the fingerprint scanner is circular in its shape as well. Uh, the designing is quite premium, the phone feels very sturdy in the hands and look at its girth, it's pretty slim. Moreover, because it has this shape, it fits very well in the palm. On this side you have a SIM tray which can either host two nano SIM cards or one SIM and one micro SD card slot. But you won't be needing that that much because the phone packs in 120GB of internal storage. Now let's talk about the other specifications you get. You get a Snapdragon 632 CPU, you get 4GB of RAM, you get 13 megapixel camera on the front and two 13 megapixel cameras on the back. All these cameras have got flashes. Let me show you the front flash. I go in the camera setting here and as you can see, it's illuminated now. So it's pretty good for night fees in my opinion. Talking about the software, you get Android definitely, but you get a dated version of it. You get Android 6.0.1. Let me show it to you in, um, yeah. As you can see, it's Android 6.0.1. Now, I would have preferred having Android Nougat on board, but then again, I'm not Micro Max. So, this takes care of the basic specifications. Now, let me tell you the killer features of the smartphone. Get on the smartphone, three basic features. Number one, the smart key. You press and hold this key, it does a different action. You press this key twice when the screen is locked, it does a different action. As you can see, the recording has started and so on and so forth, you can customize them. It is something we have seen in the Honor smartphones of the past and it's something which is appreciated. Apart from that, you also get on the smartphone dual profiles. What that means is, I can set one fingerprint to unlock my phone and I can also set another fingerprint to unlock my secure vault. As you can see, this is my default home screen and with this finger, I've configured my secured vault. It basically has all my private pictures, private videos, private uh, files that I do not want other people to be privy to. So it's again a security feature that you would, you know, admire. Apart from that, you also get on the smartphone uh, a feature called anti-theft. What this feature does basically is, once you set it up completely, if someone tries to tamper with your uh, SIM tray, this phone will freeze up and it will send you a snap of that person along with its location and it will be turned on forever. So basically you can track that bugger down in the following minutes or hours. Uh, that being said, the phone also packs in uh, 3200mAh of battery which is supported by fast charging. And one more thing that you must know is that if you break this phone or put it in water for, another, for a year from its purchase, Micromax is giving you free replacement as well. Now the question is, what should be a price for all these features in a Micromax smartphone? Well, Micromax believes it should be around 24,999 and for that price this phone will be available to you starting 10th of April, online on Flipkart and offline at a store near you. Do let me know in the comment box below if that's a price you would pay for a Micromax phone and how do you like this phone? Tell me in the comments and through the likes as well. Also share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Ciao.